Let us learn workflow of powder bed fusion process. Workflow. 3D digital data is supplied to the printer similar to the other additive processes. At first, the powder dispenser moves vertically upwards and the recoater blade spreads the layer of powder with a specified thickness on the base blade. The collecting platform lowers to accommodate overflow powder. The laser is directed on the powder bed to selectively sinter and melt the powder. The laser beam scans the powder layer corresponding to the cross section of the object at a specified layer depth and fuses the first layer or the cross section of the model. Note: In case of EBM, powder is preheated by electron beam prior to melting. After the first layer is formed or solidified, the build platform is lowered by the specified layer thickness and a new layer of powder is spread over the previous layer and fused together. Further layers are added and fused together. The process is repeated until the entire object is created. Post processing General post processing steps for PBF processes include powder removal heat treatments for stress relief and removing internal porosity removal of base plate and support structures machining features and interface and surface finishing finally parts are inspected and assessed using different ntd and metrology techniques such as computed tomography scan laser scanning penetrant testing coordinate measuring machine materials commonly used and available materials are for selective laser sintering aluminum filled pa 12 al carbon fiber filled nylon wind form xt flame retardant nylon dura form fr 100 glass filled nylon dura form gf impact resistance nylon duraform ex nylon duraform pa rubber like dura flex plastic polyether ketone ketone pekk for direct metal laser sintering and selective laser melting stainless steel titanium and aluminium alloys nickel and cobalt chrome alloys for electron beam melting titanium nickel and cobalt chrome alloys note more and more powder material are being developed to enhance the range of materials for pbf processes advantages extremely complex functional and durable parts with plastics and metals are possible lighter stiffer functional and structural metal parts with improved performance and packaging also suitable for visual models and prototypes powder acts as an integrated support structure note especially in ebm semi sintered powder acts as a support and minimizes the need of support structures generally needed for overhangs disadvantages expensive high capital cost poor surface finish produces near net shape parts high material and post processing cost susceptible to internal porosity susceptible to residual stresses distortion and warping note this is more common for lbpbf and not ebpbf due to preheating of powder prior to melting some lbpbf machines provisions preheating of the base plate to minimize residual stresses mechanical properties are usually lower than the standard wrought material available note properties can vary from one machine manufacturer to another due to different process parameters used 
slower than other additive processes. Part size is limited by the available machine build volumes. Higher power usage. Applications. Selective laser sintering process is used in aerospace military hardware for packaging, connectors, ducting. Design evolution models, form, fit and function. Product performance and testing. Tooling and patterns like injection mold inserts, investment casting patterns, jigs and fixtures, foundry patterns. Selective laser melting, direct metal laser sintering, electron beam melting is used for structural light weighted parts such as frames and brackets, manifolds, heat exchangers, custom medical implants such as hip cups, Dye and molds inserts, combustion chambers, rocket engines, 